Yo, what's good, guys? Slips here, bringing you guys episode four, if I'm not mistaken, of Apron Academy the demo. Without further ado, guys, in the last episode, we meet the five maids of the house. I believe it was Haruka, Tanya, Victoria, Corbin, and my girl Nikki, who I will meet soon enough. I'm sorry, I made that extremely weird. <laughs> but you can't you can't tell me that Nikki doesn't look the coolest out of all of them, right? Right? Come on. Come on. Come on. You guys know. But without further ado, let's get started. We're just gonna go straight into this with our open minds and nothing more. I thank Lady Luck and every deity in the sky. Someone must have been watching over me. Not only did I get to relax, but I got to be in a house with five very attractive women, even though I only think one of them is super attractive, what could be better? My stomach, however, interrupted my thoughts. As it rumbled, yelling at me to get food, I laughed. Right. Lunch. We gotta feed that belly, boy. I quickly made my way to the kitchen where two of the women were eating food of their own and having a conversation. Tanya, you almost got me in trouble. <laughs> It's not my fault you love my jokes. It wasn't even a funny joke, it was mean. I mean, so what? Corn's a bitch to me sometimes too, you know. As I finally stepped into the kitchen, the girls turned their heads to me. Oh, hey master. Did you need something? She sounds so... She sounds so regal now, it's weird. When she just switched up. Oh, do you need lunch? Victoria, you are adorable. Yeah, I haven't eaten all day. Oh no! Let me make you something, Master! Victoria rushed over to the large refrigerator and began to pull out ingredients while Tanya laughed and sipped her drink. Jesus Christ. Stop Victoria or sit with Tanya. Huh. I mean, Tanya does have some interesting dialogue. And Victoria's just gonna make me lunch, so... Sure, I'll set a spell. I wasn't going to stop someone if they wanted to make me lunch, especially a cute maid. Besides, I was the master of the house now. You darn too. I sat down at the table with Tanya, seeing her pick up what I look would look like a pizza roll from her plate and eat it with a smile. They looked really delicious compared to the typical store brand pizza rolls. I let my curiosity take hold and ask about them. I pointed to Tanya's plate as Tanya herself looked at me attentively. What are those? They look good. I watched a small smirk grow on her face before she lifted her plate up to me. Try one. They're delicious. P -p 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 pizza rolls, anybody? No wonder they look better than store brand. I lifted one from her plate and took a bite. If there was a way to achieve an orgasm through your mouth, that pizza roll did it. It tasted absolutely amazing. I stared at Tanya wide-eyed as I chewed and swallowed the bite full in my mouth. Homemade pizza bites. Made them myself. Amazing, huh? I mean, they should be since our character likes them so much. I mean, typically, I prefer regular pizza as a triangular form. Yeah, in a triangular form. Tanya looked over her shoulder for a second before chuckling silently and pulling the plate back towards her, setting it down and tossing another bite into her mouth. She seemed pretty laid back and cool for me, let alone a soldier. Maybe it was her expression, but she definitely made me feel relaxed and at ease just looking at her. Define looking at her. Victoria turned from the counter with a plate in her hands. On it were two delicious looking club sandwiches and a handful of what looked like kettle cooked potato chips. She walked over and placed it in front of me with a smile. Here you go. Enjoy. Victoria is very adorable. I'm I'm not even that I'm not even that mad. Not mad. I'm not mad. It's just that I'm not not even that sad about it. <clears throat> I stared at my plate for a second before digging in. My eyes were correct. The sandwiches were absolutely amazing. As I let out a satisfied hum, Victoria clapped her hands and jumped in place happily. I'm so glad you like it, Master. I'm glad you made it for me. And Tanya is continuing to giggle over there, okay. Tanya chuckled before enjoying her food. I consumed every last bite of my meal and sat back in my seat, completely satisfied. If this was going to be how well I was going to eat from now on, I can wait to start actually being the master of the house. Tanya and Victoria excused themselves by completely finished, leaving me alone in the kitchen. I took the moment to reflect on my situation. 
master of the house. I would be fed seamlessly amazing food, and I would be able to do whatever I wanted. Well, save for the training sessions. These so-called training sessions. Am I right, people? I still had no clue what those would involve. It was either part of their soldier training, so something majorly physical, or the maid training. Or their maid training, so some housekeeping and stuff. Allow me, master. It's Haruka! In fully clothed this time. Just the way we like it. I almost jumped in my chair at the surprise voice. I looked up to see Haruka leaning over to take my empty plate and Tanya's, which Tanya left behind. This was the first time I saw Haruka in her actual uniform. Haruka stacked the plates and walked over to the sink, watching them. As she did, I stared at her concentrated expression, remembering how we got acquainted with her in a towel and eventually nude. She knew that I saw her naked, right? Let's not let's not bring that up, okay? I hope we not I hope we don't bring that up. It, I mean, by apologizing, we're technically bringing that up. So we're gonna not mention that. There was no reason to bring it up. It happened in the past, and she didn't seem to be affected by it by now. Haruka eventually finished washing the dishes and turned around to face me at last. But they nod, Haruka bowed, and gestured to exit the kitchen. Well, she's not very talkative, is she? She's not very talkative, is she now? Okay. Come, Master. I will show you to your room. Okay, well, never mind. She talked to me now. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. How nice of you. Right, I had no idea where my room was. Thanks, Uncle. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle. I walked towards the exit along with Haruka, and she led me through the lobby and up the stairs. After a small journey through the hall, we finally stopped at the door. Here we are. Okay. Hey, it's time. It's time. It is so time, you guys. It's, I'm, I'm ready for this. Opening the door, however, Haruka revealed Corrine and Nikki unpacking the boxes and decorating the room with my stuff. My stuff came before me? Huh? Oh, hello. Bruh, that voice is to- that voice is just adorable. Hello, master. Oh, not at all. Oh, I didn't mean to skip. I accidentally skipped. I'm sorry. Uh, I feel bad now. They were doing a pretty good job. They had set up my computer and consoles already and were putting away my books and clothes. Let's work for me. Nice. Haruka stepped into the room and joined the girls as I looked around the room, taking in the size of it. It was indeed a master bedroom furnished with a large bed, desk, and TV. And it was mine now. What could- what could have been better? As Nikki placed a couple of books on the shelf, she turned to me. Nikki, you can turn to me any day of the week. Any day of the week, baby. So, Master, if I may ask, how do you know Seymour? Well, I mean, he's my uncle. He's a secret agent. He's a double, double secret agent uncle. So, yeah. Huh? Seymour? He's my uncle. Really? I thought he would be your father. You both look alike. Well, not everyone looks like their parents, Nikki. Okay, is she gonna be the bitch? Is she gonna be the bitch of the um of the of the cast? I hope not. I rather enjoy her, so I rather her not be the bitch of the cast. Anyways, how did you learn about this place? I remember being kidnapped and drugged in a car before being remotely transported to a location I had no idea about. However, that wasn't the explanation I wanted to give. You think? Oh, well, my uncle knew I needed a job, so he told me he had one for me. That's why I'm here, I guess. Did he tell you anything about the job? Not until after you all left the lobby. I apparently have to help you with your training sessions. I was so confused about what those involved. I figured it was the best to ask the ones actually training, as my uncle wouldn't tell me. Nikki and Corrine nodded to me as Haruka continued to work. Corrine stopped her work to turn and face me, officially joining the conversation. When we're not taking care of the house, we train every other day. Our sessions include self-defense, stealth and infiltration, rescue, and basic medical practice. These aren't maids. These are super soldiers. <laughs> These are super women soldiers. I stared, not believing what I was hearing. They really went through all of those subjects. I guess it made sense as they were soldiers training to be bodyguards, but to imagine them doing all of that in frilly maid uniforms made my head spin. They were pretty fun to do, as we used a body pillow to represent our master. But now that you're here, we'll have a better experience with it. I'm gonna read me what she said. They were pretty fun to do, as we used to use a body pillow to represent our master. 
but now that you're here, we'll have a better experience with it. Does that line not sound shady as hell? I'm just saying, that's for my personal beat. Well, I'll be safe, right? No, you won't. This is the end for you. Corrine and Nikki nodded again, which eased my nerves. While my uncle expressed that I would be safe, it somehow felt better to hear that the people actually going through the training would ensure my safety. Hey, Tanya and Victoria are back. Hi, how you guys doing? I barely noticed as Tanya and Victoria entered the room, hopping into the competition fluidly. Well, somewhat safe. Oh, anyway, God. I don't think we can guarantee you'll come out each time unbruised. You know what? As long as Nikki is the one bruising me, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Tanya. Okay. This is the leader, apparently. I'm just saying, those paintball bullets hurt. Paintball bullets? Um, what? Let's um talk about why why paintball bullets. That'd be something interesting to talk about. Yeah. Paintball bullets. Yeah, yeah. Paintball bullets. Let's Part talk about of that. The training we do is making sure we can maneuver around obstacles such as gunmen. It would be stupid to use real guns, so we use paintball guns instead. Victoria rubbed her shoulder with a grimace. They are pretty painful if you get pummeled with a volley of shots. Well, yeah, it's a paintball gun. And the nervousness I had about the ordeal came crawling back to my into my gut. Great! I guess it was part of the price for relaxation and luxury. Yeah. It's over, bud. Tanya walked over and patted my shoulder with a smile. Don't worry, Master. We'll take care of you the best we can. All right? Okay. Count on us, Master. For some reason, Corrine just screams, I will do anything for you. And I don't like it. <laughs> Looking at all the five girls, as Haruka turned to nod in agreement with Corrine's entire statements, I could see the confidence in your eyes. They'd make sure that I was taken care of. They better, and you better have Nikki do all the taking care of. You better do it. I found myself becoming more curious about what these girls did. Why were they here, and why train to be a maid as well as a soldier? What is, was it a matter of pride or duty? I didn't know anyone who would accept this kind of training. Then again, I wasn't them. I didn't know what I was going on in their heads. I was simply their master. You are now compelling and now doing such things. You should not be doing and saying such things, Tyler. Before I knew it, a large gong sound rang through the mansion. It wasn't deafening, but it definitely caught everyone's attention. The girls in response looked at the clock on the wall. 2 p.m. Oh, they're off their break, so they're about to go to work now. Break time was over for them, not that many of them actually utilized their break. The only one that I didn't see working was Tanya, because she actually knows how to work. She uses that break. She doesn't work during her break. That's stupid. That's idiotic and stupid. I guess you all have to get back to work officially? Yes, Master. We have to make sure the house is clean and in order. It's a large mansion, after all. At least we stay on top of it every other day, so dust doesn't collect too much. Wait, who's gonna prepare dinner tonight? I can't remember who's scheduled for today. Nikki and Corrine raised their hands but looked at each other in surprise. Were both of them scheduled to cook? Well, we can't have two dinners. Which one of you is gonna do it? Why don't we let Master decide? He'll be eating it as well, after all. Yo, it's... Time. You already know who I'm gonna pick. I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna end the episode here. Just saying. Okay. I'm gonna leave it to the chat. No. You already know who I'm going to pick. Well, you know what? Let's see. Let's see. Maybe they'll give us an option. Master, for tonight, I'd like to make herb pork chops with a fresh raspberry sauce paired with mashed potatoes and broccoli. Okay. Okay. She said herb, she said herb pork chops, which I'm assuming means baked pork chops, and I am a sucker for baked pork chops. The raspberry sauce, I'm not really too sure about, but the mashed potatoes and broccoli, yes. Yes. God, yes. Absolutely, yes. I, however, would like to make crab-stuffed lobster tails with freshly baked dinner rolls tonight, if you would allow me to. That voice is soothing. She has a very soothing voice. I like it. But she wants to cook crab stuffed lobster tails with fresh baked dinner rolls. That's This is a hard decision. 
I love seafood. Seafood and like Mexican food are like my two types of food that I enjoy the most. But I can never turn down. But I can never turn down pork, like baked pork chops though, and mashed potatoes and broccoli. That's that's like stuff my grandma makes. I can never turn that down. I can't. I'm sorry, Corrine, but both options sounded really good, and both girls seemed seemed to really want to be chosen. Just from looking into their eyes, I looked back and forth between the girls, trying to decide. I let my instinct guide my answer, and we have to pick. Oh, look at the little chibi art. Sweet! Nikki still looks better. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, I'm sorry, guys. I gotta go with the girl, Nikki. It's who, I, it's who it is. Nikki smiled and bowed to me before rushing out of the room, most likely to stop preparing and making sure dinner would go smoothly. Corrine, on the other hand, pressed her lips together and crossed her arms, scowling, uh, scowling a bit at the ground by my feet before joining Haruka in her work. The girls eventually all excused themselves, finished with unpacking my stuff and going off to check on the rest of the house. Now that I was alone, I took a deeper look into my room. It was much larger than, I, than my old room, and something told me that I would spend a lot of my time in there. At least I had my computer and books. Because every teenage boy needs his computer and books. Maybe in this new place, I'll figure out what I want to do. Yeah. The more I thought about it, the more realistic the, the idea became. It was a new environment, and a lot of things would happen here. I'd get a fresh start on finding some sort of motivation with, these, with the girls. This was good. This really was a good thing. I'm going to end the video off here, guys, because I feel like as so much has happened, the best thing that's happened in this episode is that my girl, Nikki, is cooking me dinner. Oh, my God. Let's, let's, let's just sink that in our brains. My favorite character in this game so far right now is cooking me dinner. I am totally fine with this. This is okay. I am enjoying this. But, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and save the game because... Why not? I don't want to lose any of this precious save data in my knife. So, in my life, with an L and a V, I'm sorry. But be sure that if you guys like this episode of Apron Academy, you guys hit that like button and feel free to subscribe. Oh, wait, I was wrong. Be sure to slime up that like button if you guys could. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and slips. We'll see you. Slipping right into the next video, and I see you guys in my next video. Peace.